Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. Welcome to Fintech Monthly for April 2016. We're filming from the offices of VC platform Forward Partners today. Matthew Bradley, an investor here, told us about the trends he's seen in fintech investment so far this year. We've seen massive investment throughout 2016, continuing the strong trend from 2015. Uh, no more so uh, is that the case than with challenger banks, uh, which are um, not so much an unbundling of traditional banks, but a repackaging of them. Uh, their lack of physical footprint should entail that consumers are offered better value, but their proximity to the customer should enable uh, increased levels of service, but also uh, increased levels of penetration of savings and investment products uh, to the levels at which we see uh, in America. At the start of the month, Fintech Conference Money 2020 took place in Copenhagen. At the event, Europe's Fintech 50 list was unveiled, featuring 31 UK Fintech companies. The list included the likes of Lend Invest, Property Partner, Ravelin and YoYo. Selected by a panel of over 30 industry experts, the top 50 were whittled down from over 1,200 companies. Blockchain technology was a hot topic at Money 2020, dominating many of the on and off stage discussions. I asked Sam Brown of law firm Gowling WLG what impact blockchain tech is currently having in the financial services space and what the future holds for this technology. Blockchain technology has the power to bring new opportunities and efficiencies to the financial services industry, particularly in the remittance and post-trade settlement spaces. Last year has seen the industry move from a state of panic to openly discussing applications and putting their money where their mouths are, with major banks, stock exchanges and clearinghouses all announcing initiatives. It's clear from the billion dollars plus of VC funding invested into blockchain startups such as Digital Asset Holdings and Elliptic and the work of industry consortiums such as R3 that the buzz is continuing to grow, but it remains to be seen whether the industry is simply making a lot of noise or whether there is substance behind the recent announcements. In London, the Innovate Finance Global Summit took place at the Guildhall. Ron Khalifa, Vice Chairman of WorldPay, took to the stage to deliver a keynote. He said the UK's fintech sector presents various opportunities for agile and innovative startups noting the regulatory climate here is favourable for firms in the sector. Another speaker on the day was Christopher Woolard, Director of Strategy and Competition at the FCA. Woolard gave further details about the new regulatory sandbox scheme, which provides startups with greater freedoms to develop and test innovative fintech propositions. In overseas investment news, New York-based online lender PAVE Inc. raised $8 million in Series A financing from Maxfield Capital. This adds to the whopping $300 million the company secured in December in a round led by SEA Capital. A firm, the alternative lending site created by PayPal co-founder Max Levchin, has raised a $100 million Series D led by fellow PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel's Founders Fund. The round also included participation from existing investors such as Lightspeed Venture Partners, Spark Capital, Kolsch Ventures, Andreessen Horowitz and Jefferies. German consumer loans marketplace FinanceCheck closed a 33 million euro Series C round. The team behind the platform said they would use the funds to accelerate growth and roll out new products. They claim to have brokered more than 1.3 billion euro in consumer loans since being founded in 2012. Accenture published a report titled Fintech and the Evolving Landscape, which revealed more than $50 billion has been invested in almost 2,500 fintech startups across the globe since 2010. $5.3 billion was poured into the sector in the first quarter of 2016, largely driven by two Chinese deals. The report claimed fintech startups are not emerging as the main competitive threat for most areas of banking and incumbent banks remain in a strong position to influence and determine their own destiny. That's all for this episode of Fintech Monthly. Make sure you check out the new issue of Tech City News magazine which focuses on blockchain technology and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.